You can't ticket me, officer. I'm on private property. Oh, yes, I can. No, you can't. Yeah, huh? Nuh uh. Yeah, huh? Nuh uh. Is it legal for the police to give you a ticket on private property? As with many things under the law, it depends. This question comes from CM via our speak pipe. Hi, Andrew. This is CM in New York. I was on private property in New York and a police drove on the store. I was going to a store, um, an, an orchard, as a matter of fact, and the police drove on there on their private road named after them. He parked and ran over after me, stopping me from going into the store to give me a traffic ticket for an, a registration tag. When I submitted a motion to dismiss, the DMV traffic court judge denied it. Is there a federal or state law that states police cannot write tickets on private property? First of all, we need to distinguish between the two types of private property. There's residential and commercial. Your home is your castle, and the Fourth Amendment gives you pretty strong protections against the police simply walking into your home. Businesses also get the benefit of Fourth Amendment protection, but it is a little bit different and it pertains to the business itself, not necessarily the owner or employees of the business. Here's a simple way to think about it. You have an expectation of privacy in your own home, but you don't have an expectation of privacy while you walk down the aisles of the grocery store. Even the owner of the business may not have an expectation of privacy regarding his own personal affairs when it comes to his business and his business's property. A few years ago in Georgia, a man named Steve Waddell was selling counterfeit coins. Mr. Waddell had set up a corporation and was selling the coins via the corporation's website. The police ended up using a third party, one of his website providers, to search the web server of the corporation for evidence against Mr. Waddell to try to charge him with selling these counterfeit coins. The 11th Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that this was 100% legal because Mr. Waddell, the individual, was the target of the investigation. It was not about trying to charge the corporation with anything, and the website was owned and run by the corporation. Therefore, Mr. Waddell did not have an expectation of privacy regarding his personal affairs on the corporation's property. But back to traffic tickets. Can an officer run up to you while you're on a store's private property and issue you a ticket for having an expired registration? Yes, because he observed the violation out on the public highway. I'm 99% certain that this is what happened in CM's case. The officer probably saw her vehicle driving on the main roadway with an expired registration. By the time he could turn around or catch up to her to try to pull her over, she had pulled into her destination. I don't think there's any claim at all that CM was trying to run from him, she just didn't even know that he was trying to pull her over. And so she continued about her business. Now she ends up on private property with an officer coming up to her in sort of a weird situation, trying to issue her a ticket while at a store. But here's a situation that I do see quite often. Officer, you can't ticket me. I'm not even in my car anymore. I'm at my house. Do you think my authority ends at the curb? I was trying to catch up to you to pull you over, but you sped away and pulled into your own driveway. Now tell me, how much have you had to drink today? You're not immune from the police simply because you were able to park the car and hopped out before the police could catch up to you. It's not like the police are chain chomps. They're stuck at the end of their chain and can't break free and can't get you as long as you don't come too close. But what are the limits for the police if you're on private property? If you are inside your home, the police can't just come in to get you unless they have a warrant or if they have some other exception to the warrant requirement. That's why we say your home is your castle. You are pretty safe there from the police. But back to our example from earlier, if you're running from the police, you get to your house, you hop out of the car and run in the front door, this is going to be considered what we call hot pursuit. This is an exception to the warrant requirement. That means if you're suspected of, for example, a serious hit and run, and you've run from the police and they're in hot pursuit, the police can probably chase you right through your own front door, even though you're on private property and they don't have a warrant. They can do the same thing for some misdemeanor situations, but it definitely gets a lot more of a fuzzy area when we're dealing with a less serious crime. But back to CM's original question. Just because you've pulled onto a private store's parking lot, there's no reason that the police can't follow you onto that property to issue you a ticket. Now, it might be a different story if the owner of that property has barred the police from coming there and they're not actually in hot pursuit of you for a felony. However, there's simply no federal law and certainly nothing in Virginia that prohibits the police from ticketing you simply because you're on private property at the time they're issuing the ticket. But if the police show up at the door of your home, you can definitely defend your castle. 
So be sure to watch out this next video for tips on what to do about how to handle the police knocking on your door. And remember my best tip, don't talk to the police.